What is up guys? It is me again. Playing more Minecraft. Oh. oh, I heard that. There's a skeleton somewhere. Is he underneath me? Where is he? Where is he? I cannot see him anywhere. So today, we are gonna cut down these trees. No, that's not what we're doing today. We're gonna try and do a bit of better mining as I'm sure you all saw my third video where I had lots of troubles. And let's hope that does not happen again. If you all saw my last video, I made a nice extension to my house here, as you all can see, I built a little storage room. Okay, so I got raw iron there. I'm gonna put it in my chest of valuables. Right, no, not there, here. And yeah, I got over a stack of amethyst shards, as I'm sure you all can see. 10 diamonds, two emeralds, five redstone dust, 35 raw copper, Briar and Lapis. I need to make um, more iron pickaxes. Okay, let's do that and then. So let's make three more of them. Point of dripstone. I'm gonna put that in my, um, my fishing rod. There, get three more iron pickaxes so then. I'll make a bit more torches. Should've just pressed shift there, but whatever. Um. I heard something splash on my left headphone. Oh, and by the way, guys, as I'm sure you all can see, I have no armor on. I'll get more armor eventually, so let's, um, so down in this cave here, I'm sure you all can see, and I've got my trusted spyglass, as I'm sure you all saw me making this second video. Oh my god, that scared the life out of me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That zombie scared me so bad. I don't even have a bow. Oh my god. Get you guys out of here. Oh my god. I hope I don't have unexpected visits like that. Probably should have made a bit more food. So... This is just a dead end. Okay, we're not going there. Um, There's tons of coal there I could get, but... Which I might actually. If I can't break these blocks above. And yeah, I'm sure you all can tell coal is a precious item in Minecraft. Since you need it to... Then to make stuff in the furnace. Or another thing you guys can do with furnace, and this is something I figured out on my own way back when I first played Minecraft. You can actually use um lava in a furnace, and it actually works better than coal. It lasts a lot longer, and it can cook stuff really quick. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot of lava here. It's like an underground volcano. If y'all could tell me. Why does it sound like it's water? I know it's not water, but it kind of sounds like that through my headphones. Um, I wish I had a map I could use. To make a map, you need a compass and paper. Actually, how do you make a, um, a compass? You know, okay guys, I know I said we would do some mining, but I'm gonna go 
back up to my house and see if how to craft the compass. Okay, so if go back up here. So I've been having a good day so far since I've gone bowling and I bowled two high games. If you guys don't know what high game is in bowling, it's if you bowl a 200 or higher. Um, okay, there's my house and I see my sugar canes. I'm gonna try and make a map so I can see what level I'm on. And that's something very important to understand. I think I need to get, um, I'll grab a piece of, actually I don't need that in order to see the recipe, so if I go here, there it is. Oh, I can make that, okay, so, okay, I need that. One piece of redstone. I did see there was more redstone down in the mine where some lava was, but I kind of ignored that. Okay, there's some map. Empty map. I need eight pieces of paper. Let's put the compass there. And let's sleep so we don't get killed by nasties. And in fact, I'm sure you all saw in my previous video that a creeper blew up this part of my work. And I had to rebuild it all as well as this land area you're seeing. Some of this land you're seeing was actually placed by hand. Oh wait, right, my sugar canes are over here. I don't know if... Okay, so, we got eight pieces. Um, oh, there's more over here. Sugar canes really aren't important unless you want to make some stuff that involves needing sugar. Like a pumpkin pie or cake. Or like, um... Or if you want to make a map like what I'm doing so I can see what level I'm on. Not to see where I am, but see what level I'm on. Oh uh, yeah, right here a creeper exploded. I was playing off camera earlier today so I could get some stuff done. Oh nice, got enough paper. Okay. Let's, let's put the spare there. What was that? I saw a recipe. Um, for something. Was that it? Can you guys tell me in the comments what popped up? I did not see what it was. There we go. Empty map. Now I gotta fill it in. Which is really simple, you just right click there. Um, I'm not sure why it's showing my house in the top left corner. And if you guys see that purple thing, you may think that's a nether portal, but if you remember from my previous episode you saw in the description, it said these things are called amethyst geodes. This is actually where I get all my amethyst shards. And yes, it's just here out of pure luck for me. Is there any I could get? Oh, there's one here. The nice thing when it comes to getting shards is ones that are ready, you get four per. Is there any more? Is this one ready? Yeah, there. I think that's all the ones that are ready. Yeah, there's something I noticed on my own. So whenever you walk or break or punch amethyst stuff, it makes like a jingle noise. Um, and yeah, here guys, I'm here's my spike glass, which I've made out of pure luck. Like I said, with the amethyst geo being there. Actually, wait, does it say? Oh no, it doesn't say what level I'm on. Did they remove that feature? 
Um, hold on. You guys, I'm gonna... Hmm. I should try to find, um, beehives. Okay, well, that was just a waste of resource, so I'm just gonna put that there. They got loads more coal. And more amethyst shards. Oh, actually, I should do a bit of, like, fishing. Oh, I was wondering where that lava was coming from. It's coming from here, from... This is a, um... A cobblestone generator if you watch um I think it was episode 3 you'll see how I made it okay just gotta wait the water flowing is kind of distracting with the sound come on how long does it take oh there Oh, they got a puffer fish. Something you guys should understand when fishing, do not ever eat puffer fish because they'll really poison you and your health will drain really quick. Um, I see all those salmon down there. Come on, what is... Why is it taking forever? I swear it's, it never takes this long for me whenever I'm fishing. There, finally, you go. Yeah, if you saw my first video, for some reason, like, the water was kind of glitched. Where, like, it didn't flow down. And instead was just acting if it was... There was a block there. Yeah, water has that weird glitch to it that they should patch, honestly. Um. And the reason why I'm fishing on this tree is because when I was playing off camera, I was almost killed by a creeper. I had, like, only two hearts left. And because I was fishing down there, so I decided that I'm going to fish on this tree. So that way that doesn't happen again. Though a skeleton could possibly come in. Get me. So I think once I catch a couple more fish. I'll cook them and then we can go back to mining. Because I think I'm like over 10 minutes into this video. And I've gotten like no progress done. I'll catch one more fish and then we'll go mining. We'll cook them first. And while they're cooking, I'm going to get some wheat from my farm. One thing you guys should keep in mind, food is your most important resource in Minecraft. Because if ever you go off and you have no hunger, You'll starve yourself to death. Do I have more coal I can put in there? Yeah, I do. Let's put a bit of coal in there. Um, okay, put this. Um, I should make a bow, but I don't have enough string. I could go back over to the desert temple and get more, but it, cons it would consume most of my time. Okay. So let's gather this wheat. Um. And yeah, I got pumpkins too as well. From my first video. You know, fun fact with Minecraft. Pumpkins are actually rarer than diamonds. Yes, there are more diamonds than there are for pumpkins. And... Something I might do in a future video is set up like a, um, a chicken farm, a wool farm, and a milking farm. Okay, um, well, you might think, why would I do that, but, and there's some reasons to that. One, chickens lay eggs, and two, you can get milk. 
from cows, which I'm sure you all know. But there's actually something about milk that's really good. So, like, if you have some sort of poison buff to it, if you drink milk it out, it'll actually get rid of the, um, the effect. So that would be a good thing to have if you are going up, like, against a witch. There's some copper there. If you guys don't know what these blocks are, they're called dripstone blocks. But I'm not sure why they're facing upward. Nor are there even... What are these things called again? I can't remember what they're called. Points of dripstone. I'm not sure why they're facing up, because... If they're facing up, they can't drip water. That's a little thing they should maybe patch. So I'm going to get this gold here. Okay. So there's quite a bit here. Oh, there's some here. I can barely see. Is that redstone? Yeah, it is. I'm going to ignore the redstone. Oh boy. I always like the picture of caves with lava like this, kind of like an underground volcano. Although that's not such a thing. Let's go this way, actually. Um, and see what stuff we can find. So I got my torches, which is important. Okay, so we come across some redstone and another cave. Whoa. These, this is lapis, guys. It's not diamond. I thought I heard a creeper for a second. That's why I stopped. Um. Why is that in the shape of, like, a plus sign? Did you guys see that? That passageway? Oh, There's a dungeon down there. With skeleton. I gotta go in. There. What have we got in here? Oh, I got a music desk. That's good. I'll take the bucket and the string. Oh, melon seeds. That's good. So I can grow melons now. Oh, I didn't put this shield up in time. There. So there's moss stone here, which I'll just ignore and grab. You know, I'm going to destroy this. So that nothing else can spawn. Um. You know, I'm actually going to take the bones with me. Oh, I'm not sure why I did that. In case I want to make, like, bone meal. There's more gold there, but I think I, I got some. You know, the one thing I like is that... Oh my god, there's a creeper. There I got him. So as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, was... I like the, how they changed it, so now instead of cooking ore, you cook raw stuff. Oh boy. Okay, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna do this. We're safe. Jesus. Can I build over it? Yeah, I can. Um, I'll put the spyglass there. There's more coal and gold. Let's just get rid of some of this lava here before bring that. Actually, some of you may know with like um the source is like an infinite water source. However, there's something about lava that's gonna probably make 
you all pretty mad. There is no such thing as an infinite lava source. That's right, even if you do a 4x4 four four lava source, you don't get infinite lava. I'm gonna take the music disc back up. That was another thing I was planning on doing later in the series, get music discs. If you don't know how to get them, you can either do it that way the, with how I went to the, um, the dungeon or mob spawner, whichever one you want to say. And the other way is by getting a skeleton to kill a creeper, which I've done that before. I'll just ignore the redstone. How's the gravel around here? Not sure I'll need gravel for anything. It's probably gonna be nighttime. Is it nighttime? Yeah, it is. Let's just do yeah. that. Yeah, this is a massive ravine. There's a creeper. I could try to get a skeleton to kill it. And maybe get another music disc. Um. Oh, there's a zombie. I also, um, do a bit of stuff with the, um... There's a, um, a wandering trader nearby. I'm gonna sleep so that way no mobs can get me. What in the world? There's a baby zombie. Bye, baby zombie. Oh, I accidentally hit the wheat seeds. Oh, oops. Do I have my hoe on me? I don't. Um. Here, let me. Oh no! Get the melon. You know, I'm not sure. What can you do with... Can you do, um, this? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. You can do the same thing. I... The spider's on the roof. I can... Oh, there's my hoe. Okay. Oh, my God. Do I have my seeds? Yep, I do. I think I might put my melon farm here. Actually. That was something I was going to look for as well. Melon seeds? There's a, um, a mountain there. Actually, if you guys want to know a little something, some of you may know this thing called emerald. If you don't know where to find them in terms of mining, you find them in in mountain areas like over there. I've not been over there, so that'll be new to me whenever I do that. Oh, I should plant more trees. Um, I got a saddle as well. I empty out my inventory a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna move the the raw gold. So I got this. Oh, I, didn't mean, I did not mean to do that and put that there. The music disc I will put in there, and then the bucket can go there as well. I will put more house extensions so 
my house won't stay like this. And everybody, you might, you all might ask me, do I know the importance of using a, a spike glass? No, I really do not know if there's a real importance to using one. All I just understand is that you use it to see stuff far away. But for some, something they should do is when you're viewing it, it should change the render distance. That might be a good update to maybe have. Okay, um, that was me breathing that sound. Um, yeah, there's the desert temple I went to at the beginning of the series. One thing you guys could might want to know that's good for Minecraft is that in the daytime uh -huh. spiders won't attack you unless you attack them. So that's why I'm not attacking them because they're peaceful at daytime. It's only at nighttime or if you're down in a cave. There's some squid. Are they ballistic squids? Seriously, where are the skeletons and stuff? I've been hearing them in this place here the whole video. But I cannot see where they are. I'm gonna check on the geode. Oh, this is ready. Any more ready? Yep. We have another one here. A lot of people are gonna get mad at me for... Being, for having a geode like right by my house. Um, that's not one. Those two are ready too, but they're out of my reach. So I can hear a zombie villager. I'll take the shards I have back up. Uh, yo man, do you need a shard to make the spyglass? Yes, you do. I actually don't know the possibility of finding a geode because I have one right there so y'all can't ask me what the the chances of finding one are but I might look at the minecraft wiki and see if I can figure that out in the next video move this red so anyway I think I'll end it here for today so feel free to subscribe